had to um, if I had to pick one thing, Danish, um, it's making informed decisions. Once we go through a digital maturity assessment um, with a client, they're they're asking more questions of themselves um, than they did. So before they thought, yep, this is the project I wanted to do and this is what I needed and this is why. And then we go through this digital maturity assessment and we start asking questions, what's the business problem? We start talking to all of the various different stakeholders in the organization, senior leaders, etc., asking what their problems are. Um, you then start questioning the solution. Um, is Teams the right one? Is, is SharePoint the right one? Is it Dropbox? Um, and as you start to go through the, the framework and ask these probing questions, um, then it creates um, awareness. So they didn't know what they didn't know before and now they know um, what's possible and that helps them make better decisions. And often I've seen lots of outcomes. I've seen people that just don't do that digital transformation project at all because it was just the complete wrong approach to solve their business problem. Um, I've seen them um, change the, the, well, to be honest, more often than not, they, they actually don't have the business problem defined. So helping them understand what the problem is um, and, and help them understand what success looks like, um, that helps them really narrow the focus and the scope of the project. So it means it gets delivered on time, on budget, um, and often a lot faster than they anticipated because it's not this big project anymore, it's just this little project because this little project is really what's gonna solve the business pain point. Yes, we've got to do all these other bits and pieces and that would be fantastic, but right now for what where the organization is and the problems they have, this thing gives you the quick win. This is what gives you, um, you know, actual real-world tangible value to your, to your project.